For you to take the time to visit with her meant an awful lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Sincerely, George Bush. You the man. So if anybody ever says, who's the man, you can always know that the President of the United States said, I'm the man. We're in my home in Georgetown, Texas, and uh, I have a room here. Uh, it's actually a spare bedroom, but I call it the presidential suite because I have some of my memorabilia in here. And, and like this is my uh, uh, presidential commission where it says, Executive Office of the President, the White House Office, David Valdez of Texas, uh, Director of the White House Photo Office. And uh, I was Director of the White House Photo Office and President Bush's personal photographer. And um, uh, it was quite a thrill for me to have that position because I got to ride around on, on Air Force One and travel to uh, 75 countries in all 50 states and did over two million miles flying on Air Force One documenting the presidency of the United States. When I was the president's photographer, there were many times when, when I would look around and say to myself, what is a guy like me from Alice, Texas doing here? And uh, uh, you would find yourself sometimes alone in the Oval Office uh, waiting for uh, some, something to go on and, and uh, you'd look around the room kind of in awe of the fact that you were there uh, in the Oval Office of the White House. But I was blessed that um, uh, George Bush was, was such a, uh, a, a kind and gentle man to me and he was kind enough to bring me into his uh, uh, inner circle, his family, and trusted me uh, to be around with him to do my photography work. And so, so for me it was an incredible experience but sometimes when he and I would be going in to meet with King Hussein or the Pope or something somewhere around the world, he'd kind of hit me with his elbow and he'd say, can you believe us two guys from Texas doing this? And I'd say, yeah, I mean, this is amazing, but you're president of the United States. In 1987, um, I took a photo uh, for Life magazine that was, uh, in 2011, selected to be uh, one of the best photos uh, to run in Life magazine over the last 75 years and, and it's the photo I took of George and Barbara Bush in bed with their grandchildren and uh, at uh, their home in, in Kennebunkport, Maine. And there's another one of those images that has uh, maintained a life of its own and, and it's uh, uh, a great honor for me as a photographer to have one photo. I know Ansel Adams said uh, if, if you get maybe 10 photos, 10 good photos in a year, uh, you've had a very good year and uh, maybe I'm not that good, but I did get this one photo that uh, has, has had a life of its own. All these many years later, I mean I'm now uh, 20 some years uh, since the White House, uh, you know, I've been blessed to have my work on permanent uh, file and display at the George Bush Presidential Library on the campus at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas, and most recently um, have been invited to be a contributor at the uh, Briscoe Center for American History on campus at the University of Texas. So I'm real proud of both of those things and proud of the fact that uh, my work will live on and on and on long after I'm gone.